I miss the old I dubs. Straight from the go I dubs. Never said no I dubs. And now there is no more I dubs. The man you see in front of you, the man with the Joe Dirt dirty mustache cut, is no longer what he once was. Why? Because he told me so. iDubs is yet another online content creator that has come to terms with his past self. He realizes now that what he once was was cringe, edgelord, disgusting, and now he's a new man, born anew, died on the cross for his old sins, and now he's hoping to come with new content. Now, it's pretty funny that he uses the term, I miss the old iDubs, because it really is out of character for him to sit down and make a 2007 YouTube vlog where he's talking to his viewers and explaining the thought process and the meticulousness of making online content and explaining his feelings about his past content and lamenting that his new content will be better and more wholesome than it ever was before. I am responsible for creating a lot of hurtful and damaging content on this channel. I need to acknowledge that and I'm really sorry that it's taken me this long to acknowledge it. The content I'm talking about specifically are content cop videos. I was morally grandstanding and acting as if I am any better than any of these people that I was making content cop videos on and I'm not. I'm a human, I'm a real human who makes mistakes. For me, I think there's nothing wrong with that, but at the same time, why is it so serious? Why is this guy talking like he's a political candidate running for office, apologizing for old videos, saying that he's gonna enlist these videos and he's sorry that he ever made money from them? You're sorry you ever made money from them? Are you out your motherfucking mind, bro? See, God blesses the wrong people. I woke up today happy because my paycheck hit. And after I looked at the shared bank account I have with my parents, I realized that they were overdraft. Do you know what that means? My paycheck had to go and subsidize their shit. I wish I had that stimulus to let me know that I'm on some different type of shit. You talk about, I'm, I'm sorry that I made this content. I'm sorry I profited off it. I, bro, give me some, if you're so sorry, how about you donate some money to me? And what's funny is that in this video, he nondescriptly says, uh, you know, just so you know, I will be running ads on this video and I will match the amount of ad revenue money from this video and I'll donate it to a charity that I may have affected in the past. What in God's name are you talking about, bro? Like, are, does that mean you're you're gonna you're gonna donate to the Boys and Girls Club? Does that mean you're gonna donate to the YMCA? Does that mean you're gonna donate to Glad? Does that mean you're gonna donate to the JDLC? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And even if you did, I who cares, bro? Like, no one gives a shit about your pittance, your your random charity. Like, you're supposed to be an online entertainer. People are supposed to go to your channel and forget about the fact that milk costs eight fucking dollars in a box of cereal is six to boot. I want to go to your channel and remind myself that there's weirdos out there on the internet. I want to see people who are artistic enough to sit in a fucking drain sewer somewhere eating popcorn and talking to a gnome i want to see someone who's so fucked in the head that they literally put human hair in a cake eat it throw up and then continue to eat it what kind and by the way and all the lists of regret that'd be the number one thing i regret but i want to see that because it was so autistic it was so stupid it was so irrelevant and the thing is i dubs thinks that he some way somehow is like the messiah he is the person that people look to for leadership because he thinks that his old videos and his old demeanor used to cultivate a culture of incels and bottom feeders that would come together and be one under his channel umbrella. I hate to tell you this, bro. There's going to be incels and weirdos out there whether you exist or not. These dudes literally existed before the internet. If I have to go down memory lane, there was a man who shot the President of the United States of America just because he wanted a female actress to pay attention to him. No matter what you do, there will be weirdos in the world. It's just how the universe is. And to think that you're so important and so imposing on the world that you making a statement that you will no longer partake in this and that you will combat this and you will go against this is so high and mighty it's so heavy-handed you're taking yourself way too seriously this new i dubs this i'm gonna make a serious video i dubs i'm gonna have a pipe in my hand i dubs i'm gonna sit there and seriously talk to you like a I, i'm a politician i dubs is whack as fuck it's boring as fuck it's one of the most annoying things i've ever seen where 
all of a sudden you have to atone for some sins that really no one gives a shit about when people made reactionary content like such as content comp early on it was whatever you know people would look at it and be like oh lol there's a bunch of people sitting in their car eating food what a bunch of weirdos but again eventually a bunch of aughts just stroll into the room and say hey you know what instead of just laughing at this content instead of just watching this i need to go harass these people i need to go tell them i dub sent me i let i need to let them know that i'm harassing them because i found them somewhere else and at the end of the day, these kids, these autists, whatever individuals you want to market and marginalize these people as, they're going to do what they're going to do. They're going to find different reasons to harass people. They're going to find different things to do. And I don't think iDubs really ever capitalize on that. Sometimes Leafy is here and people uh, such as the great, late Jason Genova would capitalize on their fan base and harass people. And, you know, you harass people a little too much, you might end up getting the rough end of the stick. You saw that happen to Jason and Rich Piana. Uh, but... I think it's very weird that iDubbbz takes himself so seriously. I think it's very weird that he apologizes for things that he's done that literally no one thinks about it, dude. Like, it's been years. No one cares. At the end of every single video, make sure you ask people to rate and subscribe to your content. It makes them feel like they're involved even though they're really not. And most importantly, make sure they comment on every single video. If you have to, disguise it. You know, call it something like the question of the day. And really make them think you're going to really read it when you really don't have to. Ha ha ha!